Aloha. Um, welcome to the December update of the KNF Micro News. Um, Drake here. Uh, I wanted to share with you a few things happening. Uh, I just got back from Philippines with Ray Yoon. We went up there, um, learned, well, I learned a whole bunch, actually. Some of, some of the best times spending time with Ray. Um, but we had about 150 Filipinos come out to our, uh, our training and uh, met a whole bunch of really good new friends. It um, was really a powerful moving experience to uh, travel down and see an agricultural festival, see how they're getting um, support from the community as well as um, the executive branch, the governor's helping those guys out, and uh, it was quite enlivening. Um, then, uh, what else? I just finished my 10-day uh, course here Canna Farm, um, and that was probably one of the better sessions. I, for a long, long time, I've been um, been teaching, but it's been more like um, you know, I'm the teacher, you're the student. Whereas this was really, um, we were able to get down, learn about the solutions in, in their truest sense. Not just the farm, but the agricultural lens of this as well. And how to use integrated animal farming, even in a vineyard, in a cannabis operation, in a cut flowers industry. Taking this to regreen the desert, the, um, Israel. How, how are we going to do that? And that's what I was teaching this course. Um, really in depth, you know, what are what are the microbes? What really are they doing? Um, you know, and, and what are the ferments? And, and how are we, you know, extracting this vital juice through this osmotic boundary? It doesn't matter that, you know, you did it this or that or at dawn or whatever. It's it's the principles that you're getting uh, in understanding OHN in KNF medicine as a, as a tincture. You know, take something, ferment it, and then tincture it. And this is what you're getting out of it is this further lessons and generalizable principles that I'm, that I'm sharing with you, um, you know, as opposed to just straight up dogmatic recipes and here's the book. It's how does these, how do these systems integrate in with your farm and what can you do with them? Um, so next class I'll be doing, it starts January 3rd, and I will be having online video just like this where you can watch, you can be part of our course. Um, as part of an option. So uh, we'll have that soon. Uh, look at canafarm.com and uh, we have video a video option to join in our course. That enables you as a user really far away to, you know, ask questions in real time, um, be part of the solutions, seeing the expertise that goes into them. Um, and gives everyone a way to be part of natural farming. You know, I think it's right now it's super vital for us all to raise up our games, um, lift how we're playing natural farming, how we are more than playing a game. It's integrating it into our lives, farming, um, making our connection to the ecosystem and getting this technology as far as and wide as we can so that people can wake up to... Um, clean ocean water, clean stream water, beautiful runoff, where the bananas growing around your pig pen get richer, that there's no smell, you can do a video shoot right in your pig pen. Um, and so that's that's really what I've been focusing on, um, this, you know, bringing, bringing material this way, um, empowering folks to be leaders. Uh, I feel like this, this last group that really came through, um, really had a chance to um, see their larger role in natural farming um, and um, yeah um, I'll be going around the state uh, you know I'm just just thinking of my schedule thinking of events coming up uh, we'll be doing Kuti at the Capitol with Daniel Anthony uh, definitely check that out. It's a chance to get politicians aware of natural farming, microbes, those things. Um, we'll also be headed over to neighboring islands to share natural farming in these next couple months coming up. Uh, that's actually all January. Um, so, what else going on? Micro news. Well, 
I, I, I'm inspired. I got a letter from a lot of you guys talking about um, this last message that I put out and how it was inspiring you with um, this leadership and how to put your best, you know, front forward and um, how to get involved. And that, that's been inspiring for me. Um, I believe there's a, this is a time of forgiveness happening right now as we're finishing out the, um, the new year and heading into new you know new energy that coming up um, I uh, I hope for forgiveness here um, moving forward with what I got growing um, open sourcing and then also even coming out with some products for you know enabling me to spread this to a larger audience um, Getting getting things together, you know, that's 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 where I see the future of natural farming going. I I've really been enjoying this kick of integrated animal farming to sum it all back up, I guess. Um, and um, these these microbes are really something. We one the class we just did, we did a biology lesson where we looked through, and this was one of the first times I had evaluated my um, my bio this this material from the pig pen out on the floor and so i put it i set it up the took a little scraping and set it under the microscope and every view i saw there was a beneficial fungus and maybe two or three or four funguses in each each view as i'm going around we saw beautiful bacteria feeding nematodes um you know, it, 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 this class, everything, wrapping up these these points of using the microscope, analyzing, making natural farming scientific, but furthermore, like understanding the, the repercussions of farming this way, that I'm healing the environment, that I'm creating more fertility. I'm able to grow food this way, analyze the biology, make sure I got living soil, healthy soil, healthy plants, healthy animals, healthy humans. And uh, with that, I just want to wish you a happy, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, um, all the other holy days that come during this time, and uh, look forward to sharing with you in January, and uh, if I see you before then, uh, thanks. Uh, check, check Natural Farming Hawaii on Instagram, um, and I'll be continuing to put photos there, and uh, yeah, thanks. Aloha.